Welcome back, this is Professor Xiao Ma. The purpose of this video is to quickly talk about the data sets that you will use in the midterm exam. Despite the several data files that you will use, all of them are about one business case, insurance products and insurance policy. The data record customers' decision of whether they bought or didn't buy the insurance product for which they were contacted by customer services by a range of channels. The original data included a dozen or so input variables that included different types, for instance, textual, binary, categorical, and continuous variables. More specifically, including the Jupyter Notebook file and the data files, you will download a package of in total nine files. Now, this is important to know. The nine files are zipped into a package directly without being placed inside a folder. So as soon as you unpack, the nine files will be placed in the directory that you decided to unpack. I recommend that you select the Jupyter Python directory or folder to which you unpack the zip package. Or if else, I recommend that you create an empty folder on desktop or in your download folder and zip the nine files into that folder. I suggest that you do not unpack the nine files directly to your download folder because if you have a lot of files in those places, the nine files could be scattered around and difficult to locate altogether. Within that nine files, one of them is the Jupyter Notebook file, which includes the questions and requirements of the midterm exam. Six of the files are data files in CSV format, and what remain are the two files for the documentation of the data sets as TXT file. More specifically about the six data files, two of them have underscore one which is version one as referred in the exam questions. These two files, one is a training set, the other is a test set, include data that are not pre-processed, input data in raw scale and format with the ID column and the target variable column included in both data sets. The other four data files have underscore two in their file names and these are the version 2 of the data as referred to in the midterm exam. In these data files, the input and target variables have been splitted. So the Y data files only have one column, which includes the target variable values. And the X data files include the input variables after they are already pre-processed. These data files have much more columns than their original data files because of the categorical variables in the original data. And of course, because the input data files have already been pre-processed, they do not have the ID or the target columns. All of the data in the X data files have the numeric type. That's all I like to say about the data sets that you will use. Hope this video helped you prepare for the exam, and I hope that it will reduce the time that it takes for you to be familiar with the data set during the exam. Now let me wish you good luck in your midterm exam. See you next time. Bye.